What is up, you guys? This is the White Rabbit, and welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Now, we are familiar with the Wheel of Yu-Gi-Oh! I spin, I get an attribute, I spin again, I get a type. I have to make a dueling deck out of those two things. So if I get, like, light dinosaurs, I have to make an entire deck around light dinosaurs, and so on and so forth. But it has to be possible. If it's not possible, then I have to spin again. Fire, fire again. Okay. This this wheel just wants me to play fire for some reason. Uh, let's see what type of fire. Fire reptile. Alright. So this is my deck list. I went with Evo Tiles. My camera is covering that. I went with Evo Tile. Evo Tile. Because that's kind of the only archetype that I could find. I threw in some random ones. This is going to be my boss monster. Supreme Sovereign Serpent of Golgonda. Because when he is summoned, his original attack becomes 3,000. Essentially making him a blue eyes white dragon. Um, the the extra deck I I don't know why I have it but it's there. Uh, I filled out the spell and traps as much as I could. I kept with the fire theme uh, with that. I found some equip spells uh, such as molten escape or reptilian rage something like that and this it may not be with fire but it has to do with reptiles so i figured that would be allowed um, but without further ado let's figure out what solo story we'll be doing for today so i figure we'll go with we the merry plunder patrol i know there's the worshiping the sacred phoenix and the invincible bee troopers that we could do but this guy just looks silly so let let's see if i can beat his silliness. Alright, scenario. Oh, and it's water, isn't it? Oh, my fire monsters, my, or my fire reptiles might not be good. We the Merry Plunder Patrol. This is the base of the Plunder Patrol, located in the port town. At the entrance waited a troll intending to welcome those hoping to join the Plunder Patrol. Welcome, brother, for this day forward. Ye be all members of the Plunder Patrol. Ye probably don't know much about the group just yet, but I'll show ye the ropes. The Plunder Patrol is a band of pirates, you see, and we all take our orders from Captain Blackbeard. Now, ye might be thinking we're some no-good band of brutes, but we ain't like that tall, I tell ya. Always a merry bunch, we sail the seas aboard our ship, made like only we know how. We sail here and there in search of treasure. When trouble brews, we work together and overcome it, and we always share our joy with the whole crew. And anyone who ever does something less than agreeable... We take pride in righting the wrong. That's the Plunder Patrol way. The captain's got quite the appetite, but his belly's a tiny thing next to his big heart. He responds to the crew's selfish selfishness with kindness. Even that wicked-eyed bird, Black Eyes, has gotten attached to him. Black Eyes does as the captain tells him. He'll guide the ship along its course, or survey the surrounding waters. He may not look it, but he's another valuable member of the crew. Next, I ought to introduce ye to the three biggest names among the crew. First, he got Whitebeard, an engineer as experienced as they come. Ain't a soul who can maneuver the ship like he can. But on rare occasion, and I do mean rare, you see, sometimes he'll steer us in plumb the wrong direction. That being said, he always gets us where we need to be when we need to be. It's a real head-scratcher, you know. Then there's Redbeard, our navigator. He's a youngin', but he always keeps us pointing the right way. 
He's got a loose sense of time, but he's a leader respected beyond his years. And last up is Bluebeard, a mariner and a top-notch technician. He is always designing ships all the time, but from what I heard, he can make just about anything. If anything you need made, if there's anything you need made, you can never go wrong asking him. <laughs> what a quaint little group. Oh, another scenario? Another scenario. <laughs> I love these little scenarios. <laughs> ah! That sounds like celebratory gunfire to me. The ship must be about to weigh anchor. There's always sure to boost the crew's morale. After setting a new ship out to sail, it's customary for the gang to let the girl sail to a place nearby. Like a little celebratory skip around the pond, you know. That there's Bluebeard's latest ship, the Lease. She's got loads of space for anyone aboard, as well as a cargo hold for bounties of treasure. A real beauty, ain't she? She ain't the only boat that stays afloat, but it don't hurt to know the best. That ship with the horns, the Bran, she's nothing to squeeze, sneeze at either, what with her speed and cannon power. If you're looking for a short trip on a sunny day, she's your gal. Best stock up on fuel first, though, with the way she guzzles it. And then that black ship over there, the Mork. That's the one you look to if you need to sail under the cover of darkness. Not that it makes sailing a pitch black sea an easy task, just to be clear. Still best to work alongside other ships. Speaking of which, we sing our real loud we sing out real loud like to let each other know our positions. Huh? What? You can't really go unnoticed in the dark if you're singing, right? Don't be such a <laughs> Don't be such a curmudgeon, brother. Sure, the sea can be scary place, full of all sorts of danger. But still, we go out to meet the waves, jovial as can be. And no matter how smooth the sail, and the captain's always got to plan B in case things turn sour. The captain cares dearly for his comrades, and he wouldn't do it any other way. By the way, we'll be here till the ships come back to port. Always gotta make sure things are clean and ready for a feast. So there's plenty to do, brother. <laughs> How cute. Ooh, fire orbs. Practice. Okay, I have to learn how to do this. And then I have to defeat them with my fire reptiles. Oh, that's a nice board. That'd be a nice board, is what it'd be. Uh, blah. It's gonna teach me how to win it. What the? There. It's gonna teach me how to win anyway. Use your blunder patrol cards to win the duel during this turn. Try summoning golden hair. Okay. That's this one. Summon. You can special summon Bluebeard uh, from your hand when you have at least one plunder patrol. Okay. Special summon it. Activate. Special summon. Uh, use two monsters to link summon Blackbeard. Right, yo. Blackbeard. Sixteen hundred for Blackbeard. Okay, Blackbeard must have an effect that lets me get more monsters. Then you can now activate the effect of Blackbeard. That was or Bluebeard. Oh. Discard the trap in my hand to activate the effect. 
So discard you. Draw you. Activate the effect of Golden Air, the Graveyard, and Special Summon it. Discard White Beard and activate the effect. Activate. Okay, she has 2,000 defense, though. Now that White Beard, the Plunder Patrol, has been sent to the graveyard from your hand, you can activate its effect. Okay, yeah. Summon Red Beard. Use Red Beard and Golden Air as a Synchro Summon. Plunder Patrol Ship Brawn. Okay. This is quite the setup. I think that... No, that's not enough to, to deal with their life points. Synchro Summon successful. Plunder Patrol and Red Beard respectively. Yes. Uh, this one? Yes. This one. That right there is enough. Let's proceed to battle. I'll say, attack your opponent's life points directly. Okay, at least you're not telling me what card to attack with first, because that would just be annoying. But, we got it done. Beautiful. Water orbs. Okay. Mine. Change. We need this one. This one. All right, play. You're going first. What I would... <laughs> Wait, why am I going first? Okay. Um. Ooh. Okay, throw these two cards face down. Uh, I was on the field, is tribute, sent to the graveyard, draw one card, then you can shuffle one dinosaur monster. I don't have any dinosaurs. Um, during your main phase, you can special summon one monster. You know what, I'm gonna go with Casanarillo. That way I just have something on the field. Then if if they special if they summon something, I can Ring of Destruction or Evo Branch. No, not just yet. Uh discard. Yeah. just yet. Wait for the synchro summon. Or the overlay. Or the link. Whatever. Whatever they're doing. They are link summoning Blackbeard. Okay. Bring a destruction. Destroy him. Uh, right. Which one? Okay, that doesn't matter. That might matter a tad. Hmm. So, wait to see what happens. Uh-oh. Let me chain. Okay, Evo Branch. Destroy you. Let's see. What does it say? Special summon. You in defense mode. K 
Okay, that might be a little bit problematic. Hmm. This might be problematic because they got... Oh, that's massively problematic. There's no applicable... What? Evil Soar. Okay, so yeah, that's game right there, I think. Yeah, that's game. <laughs> Whoops. <sighs> okay, I've been trying that Evil Tile deck for a while. It's not working because it requires Evil so Evo Soars to work as well. So I'm just going to spin the type wheel and see what type of deck I can make out of that. And hopefully it's good. Winged Beasts. I think I can do something with Winged Beasts. Alright. Let's see if my new strategy works at all. Okay. Not off to a... Not off to a bad start. Is it the best start? No. Let's summon this card in a different hand. Ooh. Okay. So I could summon this and then special summon these two. Um, right, so I'm just going to throw these face down. Summon you, special summon you, and then special summon you. Then I can synchro summon either a level 6 or a level 7. So let's see. Oh, I could go level 10 right at the beginning. Um... You know what? We'll go level 10 right off the bat. In attack mode. Full armor master. You know what? We'll just... Yes. Destroy. Enter. Uh, da -da -da -da. Ben shall face up attack position monsters controls. Ooh. Oh, how cute. Uh, the big attack. Uh, it's in one face of Blackwing. No. Um, how about no? <laughs> oh, this is amazing. I just need... Ooh. Okay. So that can't be summoned. Oh, uh, you know what? We'll just attack. Then I just need to survive one more turn. Or I can do Blackbird Close. Ooh. One face down. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is going to be broken. Summon. Activate. Becomes 3,000. Oh, okay, hang on. So, attack. Uh, not on declaration. Damage calculation, yes. Tribute you. Oh, the original attack. Okay. I don't care. That Blackwing... Ooh, the Blackwing combo. That is an amazing combo. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh, that worked a whole lot better. Okay, final bit. Final little section. Ah, looks like the lies made it back safe and sound. 
captain looks to be in high spirits. That means good results, if I had to guess. And we're all set here. The waiting party is ready for the banquet to begin. A feast to celebrate a successful voyage. The best part of the whole thing. As far as the banquet is concerned, it doesn't matter who's coming back from the voyage and who's been here the whole time. It's a time for all of us to share good fortunes. Oh, the captain's calling for the apprentice. Suppose the kid's a full-fledged member of the crew now. Uh, what do you mean? Well, you see, when plunder patrols are recognized as full-fledged members, we receive a spyglass from the captain. For us, that one possession is as important as our very lives. It's more than just some tool for navigation. It's proof the captain sees us as his comrades. That kid will be more zealous to be a part of the plunder patrol than ever before. Here's wishing you luck earning a spyglass of your own someday. Do your darndest. I ain't even got mine yet. <laughs> oh, that's sad. He ain't even got his yet. Alright, that was the Plunder Patrol. Ooh, Vessel of Freedom. Uh, no. Don't want to go to the shop yet. Uh, actually, let's go to the shop. Because why not? Uh, alright, just receive all. So, what I want to do with my 500 tokens... Or 500 gems packs. What do we got? Um, oh, I get free pulls. Okay, let's pull. Let's pull the freeze. What do we get with our free pulls? An evil tile. Curse you. <laughs> Curse you, Eva Tiles. You didn't... You didn't help me at all, at all. Free pull. Come on, something good. Something good. Not a single glowing card. Uh, ooh, a crow card. The black wings helped me the most, is what they did. Oh, the Gorgonic cards. I remember the Gorgonic cards. I think. That is a Gorgonic card, isn't it? Or a Gorgon something? I know they're snakes. That's about the extent of my knowledge. Oh, this is Blackwings. Okay, this is Blackwings. Come on. Give me something good. Give me something I don't have that I can add to the Blackwing deck. Against the wind? I guess. Okay. Um. Ooh. How many tickets do I have? I have zero of both. Okay. So. We are all familiar with... Ooh. Blackwing's Pride. This deck deploys... Ooh. Assault Dragon. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna get this. <laughs> we're gonna get the Blackwing... Uh, deck since we did pull some free cards I did want to open the first heroes because that has flame wing man has sunrise uh, has absolute zero the emergency call a hero lives which is a good card but having those black wing cards is gonna save us a whole lot of stuff in the future but I'm gonna leave this one here so thank you guys so much for watching this one. If you liked it, you know what to do. Keep things crazy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.